What's going on everyone? We are opening one box here of Murders at Capenna Manor. I um, didn't buy too many boxes of this. I don't plan on buying too many boxes of this. I have two more coming, but we're gonna we're gonna open it, see what's going on with the set, and um, you know, see if we can pull a serialized card. See if we can pull some invisible ink, some Delaney, maybe a Delaney or two. Um, I don't know. I'm just I'm skeptical on it. You guys all saw my poll. You guys are skeptical on it. I, uh... Oh, oh, oh. It got packed really tight. You saw that explode. So now they're all shuffled up. Holy cow, that means that there's definitely a serialized card in here. Do these have pull tabs? What's going on here? There we go. Oh, look at the quality on that. Yikes. You see that? That's what everybody's talking about, about quality. Ugh. What do we got here? We got the robbery. Okay. That's our borderless. Roar of the or Old Gods. That's our uh, showcase non-foil. Steamboat. Phoenix. Okay. Murder. I guess that's our, our other showcase there. Yep. The kill. There we go. There's our, our non-foil. A couple, uh, couple guys in the back here. Well, <laughs> that was a little rough start. Holy cow. I don't know. I mean, these are supposed to be the Japanese printing, I guess, but... Treacherous Greed. Draw three cards, each opponent loses three life, and you gain three life. Okay. Well. We got the call. Okay, call. Arc. Another <laughs> Treacherous Greed. Massacre Girl. There we go. There we go. Known Killer. Convenient Target. Not on my watch. Exile target a Kratagan creature. I don't know. Two drop. Feel like that's in every set. Was in Ixalan too. Uh, our, our land there. Uh, scene of the crime. Okay. Well. Where's our invisible ink? Clue. Okay, we got our showcase uh, foil here. Uh, homicide investigator. We're going to die. Investigate. Uh, okay. Might be okay for like a token deck. Might be. Two. I don't know. Is it kind of pricey? Thundering Falls. We got a land. Okay. Detective of the Month. City's Blessing. Beginning of your upkeep, return target land from your graveyard to the battlefield. That looks pretty good. That's a. I feel like that's a pretty good card. Connecting the dots. Auspicious. We got the strength. Well, we used the lucky knife. Don't know what else to expect here. Uh, uh, oh, man. Doctor. Coat. Cryptic coat. Enters the battlefield. Uh, cloak, the top card of your library, then attach the coat. Cloak. The coat to it. Ooh, a little cloak, cloak, cryptic cloak. Too many C's. Nope, that's it. I'm out. Too hard to say. Connoisseur. We got the eye. Flying lifelink. Kind of expensive. Another one. That's the second time that happened. Alright, opulent. There she is. Uh, strength. I mean, the foiling looks okay. Um, I mean, it looks better than normal, but the quality, I don't know. I mean, it, I can't, yeah. Wretch. Wrench. Due diligence. Trying to go a little slow just to kind of experience this. I took some time off uh, in the past week. I had you know some videos queued up that I that I made like I usually do, and uh, I didn't look at this set at all. I didn't read any of the cards. Okay, here's our invisible ink. 
Ooh, that looks like a pretty nice card. I'm trying to see if you all can see that ink on there. There you see it. Boom. Yeah. There you go. Flying Trample of the Intercept on your non my sacrifice two non land non target opponents. If they don't, you draw two cards. Yeah, that's a pretty strong card. We're going to sleeve this one up just because it is the invisible ink. And you don't get too many of those per box, like one or two. So. Okay, we got the Vindicator. Yeah, that's a good card. Flying Lifelink Ward 2 for 4. Ugh, that's all beat up. The dilemma. Bone Brute. Audience with Trostani. Call a surprise witness to Capenna. Magnifying glass. Really trying to showcase some of this uh, There we go. Uh, clue. Oh, we got a maze. Maze foil. Survey of one. Okay. Oh, a theater. Theater. I, I have no idea what the prices are going to I'm not even going to add prices to this video just because, like, I'm, I don't know. Leyline of the Guild Pack. So we'll go. Yep, you can see. One of each guild. Gang, dramatic ascension. Okay, chase is on to the swamps. I hate those sideway cards so much. I am not a fan at all. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to add prices onto this video, folks, just because it's Massacre Girl. There she is in the full foil um, non-invisible ink card. You can see it's just not as uh, not as pleasant looking. I'm going to end up selling these and TCG players and send them all back as damaged. No witnesses, no witnesses. Um, roots. Shadows, planes, knife. Okay. Again, I'm going slower than normal. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, just because I don't know anything about these cards. I, like, I haven't done any reading. I haven't done a thing. Not a thing. Dodge, you may exile it, and Evidence 4, Lamplight Phoenix. Kind of like Arc Light Phoenix, I suppose, is what they're trying to do. Thundering Falls, the land. Enter Survey 1. Um, unexplained Absence. Okay. Whenever a creature attacks, attack. Uh, exile the top card of your library face down. Discard. Put it into your hand. Okay. Slice. Oh. Unicorns are back. <laughs> Public thoroughfare. Shock. Shock is back. Clue. And we got the g gadgeteer. Okay. Cranko. Haste. Sacrifice. Okay. I just not feel too crazy. Nothing's like sticking out to me. Okay, here's a district on the job. Answers. I don't know that this land cycle is going to be a hit, to be honest. I just. I'm not feeling it. Ooh, intrigue of the mind. Reveal the top five cards of your library, separate them into two piles, and opponent chooses one of those piles, put the pile in your hand, and create an air, create a zero zero thopter. The flying, then put one one ring, okay. Lots going on there. Analyze that pollen. 
Evidence 8, Hot Pursuit. I'm just... I don't know that the mechanics, that people are really going to like it. To be honest, either. Murder. Yeah, Murder's back. Get a leg up. Okay, two packs to go. I have, like I said, two more coming next week. I will open those in one video together, and I will do prices. So... We'll see what happens. Detective. Investigator. Flying Vigilance. Three, the being investigate. Okay. We saw this one already. True identity. Hides in plain sight. Performer. Demand answers. Island. Thinking cap, put that thinking cap on. So, we only have one invisible ink card in the entire box. What does that tell you? That tells you that it's going to be worth something, whether you like it or not. Blood spatter analysis. Hmm. Okay. Assemble the players. <laughs> You may look at the top card of your library. Once each turn, you may cast a creature spell with power two or less. That sounds actually pretty good. Um, what do we got here? You have no maximum hand size at the beginning. Ooh, looks pretty good, too. There he is. We got two. We're going to take another peek at the uh, invisible ink, because we only got one. We only got one. What does that tell you? You actually feel it's like... For, for science, I'm gonna touch it. For scientific purposes. It is raised. It is a raised... Wing? The interesting thing, I wonder from the story perspective if that invisible ink will have something to do with, uh you know, figuring out, you know, whatever that storyline is that you go and plug into the website. Um, maybe. Target opponent may sacrifice two, and if they don't, you draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, it feels pretty solid, I have to say. So, thanks for tuning in. I, um, I may do some speculating on some of these, uh, invisible ink cards, to be honest. Um, I rarely will, uh, you know, heaven forbid, buy some singles um, before the set comes out, you know, and actually pre-order the singles, but in this particular instance, things just seem weird. They seem weird. Oh, I put some in here by mistake. They seem weird. It's that things seem a little low. If you're only getting one invisible ink card per box, <clears throat> it feels hard to get feels pretty pretty exclusive to me so anyhow thanks for tuning in thanks for watching uh check out next week i'm going to do some more sorcery and i'm going to do two more boxes of this stuff and uh, uh fallout's right around the corner talk to y'all later